night number one of the Keystone Invasion. Ready to go, Maddox, Thomas Jr., your front row, the green flag flies, and it's time to cowboy up here in Pennsylvania. Boy, Thomas Jr. makes the outside work really well there. You can't say much about Brandon Maddox, though, because he doesn't lose hardly any ground. KTJ just used the outside and made it work for him. Timmy Buckwalter up to third, right where he started this race. Tanner Thorson not far behind in eighth, and it's starting to be a log jam right here throughout the top five. Buckwalter stumbles out of two, and Bacon walks around the outside. Jake Swanson wants to come along for the ride, but Buckwalter gets back on his horse. Now Bacon sets his sights on Brandon Maddox for second place. Brandon Maddox is going to have to make that car awfully wide if he wants to keep the Macho Man behind him, and he's going to have to do it quickly. Bacon down to the inside in three. He says hi. Now he says bye. Brady Bacon up to second. Has been dominant to this point, but Brady Bacon trying to go four for four and trips up here to Grandview. Drivers and teams alike said the track was pretty tacky through the heat races due to the amount of work that they had been doing with the water truck, with turning it over, but the Modifieds have widened it out and you can see that here. Everywhere you can race. Brady Bacon was up top, now he's down low. Bacon to the inside, Bacon to the front. Bacon takes over the top spot. But don't count Kevin Thomas Jr. out. KTJ is gonna stay right behind the 69. Thomas Jr. looks low, tries to set sail, but man, Bacon has it working on the top side through three. He cuts down on the inside of four. Now, Brady Bacon solidly out in front. Robert Ballou trying to make something happen for the fourth position. Ballou sends it down into turn number three. He's gonna slide up. If Jake Swanson can just stay at home, he'll be able to get the spot back. No, Ballou drives it out of turn four. Ballou moves up to the fourth position. Jake Swanson could do nothing to stop that as Robert Ballou committed big time to turn three. And man, Ballou made up for it as he got on the loud pedal out of four. To fourth. Now Kevin Thomas Jr. with three laps to go has found some speed. The lead goes from half of a second to under three tenths. Kevin Thomas Jr. has got something. The question is, does he have enough time? They're coming around to see two laps to go in this one. The lead goes from two tenths of a second now to four tenths of a second. Bacon kicked it up a little bit there as he was able to put two tenths back between he and Kevin Thomas Jr. KT wants this one and he wants it bad. He's got the track record here at Grandview. He wants a victory. Brady Bacon though has been the man to beat for the three last year. He makes his way off of two, down the back straightaway. The driver from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, they call him the Macho Man. They're about to give him the keys at Grandview Speedway. Bacon does it, he goes four for four at Grandview. Brady Bacon, your winner, as the championship point leader starts his defense off strong here in 2021. Bacon wins it.